Hey, good morning everybody, Steve here, and in this video we're going to talk about Proverbs chapter 7. So we're going to go ahead and get started and read that. A good way to start our day is to uh, read portions of scripture every day, or at least strive to, and uh, take what is said and try to apply it to our lives and, and keep it in our mind and in our hearts. So, uh, Proverbs chapter 7. My son, keep my words and treasure my commands within you. Keep my commands and live, and my law as the apple of your eye. Bind them on your fingers, write them on the tablet of your heart. Say to wisdom, you are my sister, and call understanding your nearest kin, that they may keep you from the immoral woman, from the seductress who flatters with her words. For at the window of my house I looked through my lattice, and saw among the simple I perceived among the use, a young man devoid of understanding passing along the street near her corner, and he took the path to her house in the twilight, in the evening, in the black and the dark night. With the attire of a harlot and a crafty heart, she was loud and rebellious. Her feet would not stay at home. At time, at times she was outside, at times in the open square, lurking at every corner. So she caught him and kissed him, and with an imprudent face she said to him, I have peace offerings with me. Today I have paid my vows. So I came out to meet you, diligently to seek your face, and I have found you. And I will spread my bed with tapestry-colored coverings of Egyptian linen. I have perfumed my bread. My, I have perfumed my bed with myrrh, alloys, and cinnamon. Come, let us take our fill of love until morning. Let us delight ourselves with love. For my husband is not at home. He has gone on a long journey. He has taken a bag of money with him, and he will come home on the appointed day. With her enticing speech, she caused him to yield. With her flattering lips, she seduced him. Immediately he went after her as an ox goes to the slaughter, or as a fool to the correction of the stocks. Till an arrow struck his liver, as a bird hastens to the snare, he did not know it, it would cost his life. Therefore, listen to me, my children. Pay attention to the words of my mouth. Do not let your heart turn aside from, turn aside to her ways. Do not stray into her paths. For she has cast down many wounded, and all who were slain by her were strong men. Her house is the way to hell, descending into the chambers of death. Uh, that's kind of a, a really clear picture, uh, talking about adultery and how to stay away from it, and, and just the, the wiles of adultery, and that it takes two people to do it. Um, the first part of binding wisdom and writing it on your heart, uh, we see that the writer of Proverbs encourages us to write it on our heart, but ultimately the only one that can do that is God. And that's where instead of his law is being written on tablets of stone like in the Ten Commandments in the Old Testament. He said there will come a time of where he will write his laws on our hearts. And the only way that you can do that is do a heart transplant. And the only way that you can do that is through Jesus Christ. And that you admit that you have sinned against a holy God. And that you've repented. In other words, you've you've been going down this road, and you turn and face another direction. You have regret. You have sorrow for what you've done in the past. But the biggest thing that you need to do is to respond. That God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have everlasting life. By asking God to forgive your sins, because that's what stands between us and God. And then once you do that, and you follow Jesus Christ, you've counted the cost, he's going to give you a new heart. He's going to make you a new creature in Christ. And that will give you the strength to stand up against sin and temptation, false teaching, heresy, and to live that wise life that we're called to live, that righteous life, that holy life. So don't be like that guy, or don't be like that girl. Most of the times when people read this, they say, well, that, that applies to guys. It applies to women as well. So don't be that person that gets caught up in the wiles of sexual immorality. But remember who you're a child of. 
and remember the wife or the husband of your youth. Anyway, that's it for this morning. Take care, God bless, and keep up the good work.